very creative. I like most of them, right? And I... Wow. Those are only some of the comments at Yasser Musa's coming out exhibition. The 24-year-old artist has mounted a display of paintings that at first glance may seem abstract. Musa, however, feels that they are more like impressions of his perception of reality. It's not abstract because there are a lot of references, references to the 1960s by using uh, newspaper clippings and collaging them on the um, painting. References by counting constantly with those little strokes that you always see when you go on Bible, you know, people uh, count like that. References to uh, advertisements, references to art history. This type of art, which doesn't follow the trends of traditional artists, takes a bit of getting used to and might even require a second or even a third viewing. I'm far from abstraction, no? although we tend to think that if it's not figuration, when I mean figuration, if they are not painting uh, people or if it's not representing reality of trees and mountain sides and beaches and stuff, then the absence of that is abstraction. That's Call it what you may, each piece tells a story. Yasser has put together a collage of clippings from the 1960s issues of Billboard magazine. The headlines and stuff sort of took me back and being that I'm a young Belizean and sort of many of us are not really interested in history, I was moved by the, the things that went on and the different events that took place back then and not, no better um, text to check about events on a certain time than newspapers, huh? it's the best source. Some of the paintings also deal with scientific matter and the influence of television in today's society. In his poem, Coming Out, Musa says, painting is a mask, yet they won't make noise like the television. They won't move like the video. They won't lie like the photograph. They won't corrupt like the sculpture. The way and the people that make money by using photographs and using video images, they manipulate our conscience no? and man manipulate our feelings by making us buy products, by making, taking fantastic photographs and airbrushing, making women to look superhuman, so to speak. So they're telling a lot of lies. Painting is not so much a lie. It is more... Uh, natural thing for a human being to do. But what is not so human and what many feel uncomfortable about is criticizing, something that Yasser and his art strive to do. For example, if they just say it's good or it's bad or stuff, it's sort of flippant, though, and I take it as a flippant remark. For example, if there are people criticize the paintings, I am flattered by that, because I criticize my own painting. Some of them are horrible to me, some of them are distracting, some of them I can't pay attention to for too long. So I think some of them are really bad no? paintings. And I think some people are afraid to say that. No? Now that he has given the OK, just say what's on your mind. Wow. I think what stands out is the colors. I love the colors. You know, they're, they're alive, lots of life, and I like that. I type of like, you know, all a freaky looking thing out of this, and I just look tough. He's very creative and he gives a different angle to art. And I think diversity enriches art, and he's a little different, but great. On the scale of one to 10, I would give him an 11. I like most of them, right? And I especially like how, how he include the billboard for 1961. Most of them have included my collage and my billboard for 1961. And surprisingly, some of the things that were up on the billboard are certain things where I hear my grandmother used to talk about, right? So like. So how, um, you know, for me, I don't really know what it is say, but in my heart, I know that it relates to me, relate to Belizean, and relate to me as, as a person, right? While they may not relate to all of us in the same way, they may at least remove the mask that prevents us from seeing the true picture. Julieta Burroughs for News 5.